Republican Representative Keith Kidwell of Beaufort County announced today he's in a hospital after his wife was diagnosed with COVID-19. It was unclear at that time if Representative Kidwell also had COVID. But nine year sides Aaron Jenkins learned new information after attending a prayer vigil tonight at Beaufort County Hospital. She's in the newsroom now. Aaron, what else can you tell us? According to prayer circle organizer Carolyn Garris tells me both Representative Kidwell and his wife have contracted the virus. They held a prayer circle for them tonight. Outside of the Beaufort County Hospital, dozens gather to lift up District 79 Representative Keith Kidwell and his wife Vicki in prayer. Event organizers saying both have contracted COVID-19. Lord, we lift up Keith Kidwell and Vicki Kidwell and we say in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your brutal breath blow in them. Event organizer Carolyn Garris says this is their way to let the Kidwells know the community is there for them. Garris says Representative Kidwell has done so much for the community. We want him to know how much we support and appreciate him. And we're going to be with him through this whole ordeal and just keep him in prayer, him and Vicki. According to Garris, Representative Kidwell was admitted to Beaufort County Hospital on Friday. Garris says Vicki was admitted earlier in the week. Vicki was in the hospital and then um, Keith is now in there. Kimberly Fletcher says she's known Representative Kidwell for years. We just want to put a smile on his face so that he knows we're here for him. You know, like he's always there for us. Garris believes even during the pandemic, this is how communities should come together. Some people say, well, you shouldn't be gathering because of COVID, and this is a prime example of how we can get that back. Community coming together, working together. And Garrett gives an update on how they're feeling. Vicki is a little more on the upswing. Um, I'm not sure I haven't gotten a recent update on Representative Kidwell, but um, he's a fighter. He's a strong man, and um, we're here to support him and, and pray him through this. According to Garris, this prayer circle was also to honor workers on the front lines and pray for those battling with the virus. Stay with us on air and online for updates. In the newsroom, I'm Erin Jenkins, 9 on your side.